In this video, I'm going to talk about some things that can help you recover from a burnout because a lot of us are really driven, but sometimes we take it too far and we just run out of juice completely. When it comes to burnout, there's a few things I have that can really help you recover from it. The first thing is, is taking time off because if you have worked so hard um, doing your work, doing your hobbies, um, spending time with friends, sometimes that is just too much and it's just good to just pull away and just recharge. Now this could mean a day for some of us, maybe an hour. It really does not matter, but, but you really wanna make sure that it is helping you actually recharge. Some of us might go for a hike, some of us might travel. Those are some things that you can do, and there are a whole lot of other things that can just help you recharge. Also, you really wanna find the triggers because as you're going at it, maybe you were fine doing these few things, but when you added this thing, that is what caused you to start falling apart. So you really wanna take the time like while you're in that recovery stage to figure out what were the things that actually led to this. Because if you can figure this out, when you go at it the next round, you're not gonna burn out like you did the first time. My first semester of college, when I went at it, um, I was doing a lot of things, you know, my schoolwork, shooting the videos, playing sports, and I burned out completely. Now for my second semester, I really took the time to reflect to figure out what can I do to perform better next semester. And that that involved changing up my diet, eating a big breakfast and then a big dinner as well, make, making sure I drink enough fluids, uh, making sure I have the time to recharge meditation. Those were the insights I gained from reflecting. And you can do something similar when you burn out. You also want to take the time to reach out for help when you burnt out because you might feel in your mind that it's an act of weakness, but, it, but it's really not because the people around you have probably been in similar situations and they probably have gained a lot of insight that they could share with you. Um, and people are always willing to help too. Another thing that can really help you when you're recovering from that burnout is really pulling back from, from social media, the news, and the friend groups that just create all this gossip because all of that causes a lot of rumination in our mind and it's taking up a lot of extra space. And if we can start to limit all that nonsense, it will really help us recharge as well. Because social media, when we're looking at it, there's usually so much negative content on it. And if you've not taken the time to really follow the right accounts, it's gonna play a huge role on, your, on wrecking your mental health. And the friend groups too. If they're the wrong people for you, you really have to take the time to start cutting people loose to surround yourself with the right people. Because negative friends, too much negative social media, the YouTube, the news, it's just way too much stimulation. And when you burn out, it's from your mind absorbing just way too much stuff. And if you can really pull out the things that are not important, it can help you out a lot. Some things that you can use to do this is journaling. You can do a brain dump. Just write every single thing that comes to your mind on that piece of paper. And once it's there, you can analyze it. You can choose what's important and remove the rest. You can also use meditation for this. You can take the time to just be in your own mind. Um, when I meditate, I kind of have these periods where I'm silent and then where I let my mind just think about a lot of various things. You could do something similar where you just think about all the different components in your life and how you can kind of readjust things so that you don't burn out in the future. Also, um, when you burn out and you're trying to recover, you really want to go back and do things as slowly as possible because when you burn out and you're trying to recover, you're still pretty weak and going at it at 100% right from the get-go is not gonna do you much justice. When I burned out um, my first semester, I really, like I took like a week off. I'd sleep in till like 11 p.m. Uh, in the afternoon, and that's not normal for me. Usually I'm up at like eight, maybe sometimes seven. Um, 
And when I got into making videos, I'd only shoot maybe one video a week. And then I brought it to three and then four and then so on and so forth. Because those small steps are very crucial. Because burnout, it's a serious thing. Um, and if you keep these strategies in mind, it can really help you. This was the end of the video, and I really hope some of the data I shared can really just help you guys when you're trying to recover from burnout. I've posted a lot of other videos that relate to mental health, and a few of them will pop up on the screen. Check them out. And if you have friends that you think will find value from these videos, I would recommend that you share my channel with them so that my brand can grow and that we can impact more and more people.